everyone, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Today I'm finally out in my garage. The weather has turned a little bit warmer, so I'm able to actually do some of the projects that I've been waiting for. This is an easel that I picked up at a thrift store. I got it for $6 and it's really cute. It has the back to it here and you can stand it up. It's got a little bit of a shelf there as well. But you can see that the chalkboard part of it here, someone used probably some permanent marker or a paint pen and um, I can't get that off. So I have decided to galvanize the black part of it. I'm going to leave the rest of the frame rustic. And then I think I'm probably gonna put some type of sign in the center of it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get some inspiration and let's see how it turns out. First thing I'm going to do is use some painter's tape and I'm going to just tape off uh, the uh, chalkboard itself. I don't want the wood to get any paint on it and then I'll be starting to do some paint. So I'm going to do that first. Whenever I use uh, spray paint and I want to make sure I get good coverage on something, I always use a base coat of chalk paint. Um, usually gray of course if it's the black hammered metal then I would have been okay to leave this the way it is but this spray paint isn't exactly inexpensive and uh, it just saves me a lot of money so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one coat of chalk paint so while I'm waiting for the chalk paint to dry I'm just gonna take some more painters tape and I'm just going to use some newspaper and just cover up the wood frame so I don't get any extra splatter on it uh, from the spray paint. So since I ran out of the Krylon, I had picked up this trend clad hammered finish in the color silver and I also picked up one in hammered black. This is the first time I'm using this paint. So I'll let you know what I think of the results and if they're the same as the Krylon or if it's a little different. Okay, so this hammered metal finish is a little different than the Krylon. Wherever it is, it's, it goes on a little bit more spray paint like, whereas the Krylon one was kind of, I don't know, it was splattery when you first put it on. Um, this one you can see that it's starting to, where there was extra paint, it's starting to give you that type of finish. Um, so it looks like I'm going to need to put a little bit more on it. Um, I'm not sure that I like this one. You can see that it's kind of going on a little bit streaky and uh, there you can tell it kind of looks a little... I'm not sure if I like this one, but uh, I'm going to let this one dry and then just uh, see what it looks like. So the easel is dry and I actually am really pleased with how it turned out. It looks really well and uh, nicely galvanized. I'll just give you a closer look there. So I've decided that I'm going to use this on my front porch. So I'm going to put the words welcome in a nice arc and probably put maybe just one or two flowers in on the bottom here. So I'm gonna be using my stencils. These are the letters that I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. And I'm gonna be, again, using my CraftSmart premium oil-based paint pen to put the letters on. So what I'm gonna be doing now is putting um, the stencil on and I'm gonna put welcome through this way. I'm going to use a fine tipped black regular marker because a pencil isn't going to show up on this very well and I want to be able to see the letters. So this turns out very, very faint because of the type of oil paint that this is and because this is a water-based marker, but I'm going to be able to see it enough to be able to color it in.
going to put some type of design on here and I think I'm just going to do a couple of small little daisies and maybe some bits of grass down here and then possibly have a little trail of a bee coming through this way. So I'm just going to freehand this with my paint pen and hope for the best. Now that the letters are complete, I'm freehanding the daisy flower and the bumblebee trail. This time I'm using the fine tip oil based paint in black and I'm not filling everything in. I want it to still look a little bit more rustic and maybe more of a stencil rather than a completely filled in design. If you're not good at freehanding, you could find a stencil. You could also find some vinyl decals at Dollar Tree or Dollarama and press those on instead. Here's the completed sign. I think it looks adorable. I love how it turned out, especially the little bee and the flower. I think that just makes it look way more inviting. The letters turned out well. And I think this is gonna be a beautiful addition to my front porch next to all of the other items, which we'll be showcasing soon. As soon as the weather gets a little bit warmer, I'll be getting outside to decorate my front porch. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.